Hello and welcome. I'm Nicole Lopez, the QuoteWorks Community Coordinator, and in this video I'll be showing you the integration between QuoteWorks and Outlook. We've created a separate demonstration video that demonstrates the core features of QuoteWorks, which is available on our website. Let's begin by creating a new quote. For this demonstration, I will be using a template. Next, I will bring in the customer's information. With QuoteWorks, there's no need to retype customer information that already exists in Outlook. To bring in the customer details, go to the Sold to Ship to tab of the Quote Workbook, which is where the customer information is stored. To search the Outlook database, click on the magnifying glass. From here, I have the option to search by company, last name, or phone number. I will now search for a contact in the Outlook database by last name. Once I find my contact, I just highlight it and click on Sold To. As you can see, the customer's information was retrieved from Outlook and populated into the respective fields. QuoteWorks also provides the option to select different contacts for the Ship To and Build To locations. For this example, they are the same, so I will just click on Ship To and Build To. I could also use a copy feature here. Another way to bring in a contact into QuoteWorks is to start in Outlook. Select the contact, and then from QuoteWorks, click on the card button, which retrieves the active contact in Outlook. QuoteWorks can search for contacts in multiple locations. To specify from which folder to search from, go to Contact Setup Contact Manager. Here are the Outlook setup options. Selecting default personal contacts folder tells QuoteWorks to search for contacts that are stored on your local computer. Selecting use specified contacts folder tells QuoteWorks to search for contacts in an Outlook public folder, including an Exchange public folder that is stored on your network server. The QuoteWorks Outlook integration can also create a link document attachment and schedule follow-up calls in Outlook. To enable these features, click Enable Advanced Integration. You will also have the option to specify from which folder. You can also bring in additional information stored in Outlook. The Data Link feature enables you to map fields. When the contact record is retrieved, the value of these fields in Outlook will be pulled into QuoteWorks. Now that I'm finished creating my quote, I will save it. QuoteWorks will automatically prompt me to choose the Outlook integration options. The Creator Update Link document will create an attached document record in Outlook under Activities as a journal entry, where you can see all the quotes you've created for the customer. We can switch to Outlook to see the link attachment that was created. The link attachment can be found in journal entries and under Activities in the contact record. This quote attachment is very useful. When your customer calls back in reference to the quote, you or anyone in the office can easily open up the quote in QuoteWorks through the link attachment. I will now close the quote in QuoteWorks and reopen it from Outlook using the link attachment. Selecting Create Update Follow-up Call will schedule a call activity in your Outlook calendar which enables you to follow up on open quotes, increasing your chances of closing the sale. From here, you can rename the subject, set the time and duration of the call, insert any notes you may want to see before making the call, and select in a category. I will leave the subject name as is, set the time, date, and duration of the call, insert my notes, and set the category. We can switch to Outlook to see the follow-up call that was scheduled. You can find it in your calendar and under Activities in the contact record. This call activity will automatically notify you when it is time to follow up on this quote. The next and final step is to send the quote to the customer, but first I want to preview the quote before emailing it. Here are all the layouts I have available. I could make this more of a proposal by adding a cover page, literature, spec sheets, and anything else I would like to include. QuoteWorks would then take all your documents and merge it into a PDF. Here's a quote I'm about to send. Since everything looks correct, I can email it to my customer. 
With QuiltWorks, you can send emails through the built-in SNTP email client, or you can send emails through Outlook. By sending it through Outlook, the email will be logged, which is very useful for resending quotes and seeing the email history. When I click on email, the QuiltWorks email window will pop up. As you can see, the customer's email address is already populated. From here, you would write your message, and then click on Send. There is an option to preview the email in Outlook before sending. We can switch to Outlook to see the email I just sent. I will find it in the Sent folder. It is as though I had sent the email right from Outlook. As you have seen, information flows seamlessly between QuiltWorks and Outlook. This seamless integration will not only increase productivity, it will enable you to automate your sales process. Thank you for watching and make sure to download your free QuiltWorks demo today.